Title, Demand and Supply in Labor Markets In the labor market, households are on the supply side of the market and firms are on the demand side. In the demand and supply analysis of labor markets, we can measure the price by the annual salary or hourly wage received. We can measure the quantity of labor various ways, like number of workers or the number of hours worked. Labor market example, demand and supply for nurses a city. At equilibrium, the quantity supplied and the quantity demanded are equal the demand curve, D, of those employers who want to hire nurses intersects with the supply curve, S, of those who are qualified and willing to work as nurses at the equilibrium point, E. The equilibrium salary is $70,000 and the equilibrium quantity is 34,000 nurses. At an above equilibrium salary an excess supply or surplus of nurses would exist. At a below equilibrium salary, excess demand or a shortage exists. Factors that can shift demand, 1. Demand for output, when the demand for the good produced, output, increases, both the output price and profitability increase. 2. Education and training, a well-trained and educated workforce causes an increase in the demand for that labor by employers. 3. Technology, technology changes can act as either substitutes for or complements to labor. 4. Number of companies, an increase in the number of companies producing a given product will increase the demand for labor resulting in a shift to the right. 5. Government regulations, complying with government regulations can increase or decrease the demand for labor at any given wage. 6. Price and availability of other inputs, if prices of other inputs fall, production will become more profitable and suppliers will demand more labor to increase production. Shifts in labor supply, 1. Number of workers, an increased number of workers will cause the supply curve to shift to the right. 2. Required education, the more required education, the lower the supply. 3. Government policies, government policies can also affect the supply of labor for jobs. For example, child care benefits may increase the labor supply of working mothers. Long-term unemployment benefits may discourage job searching for unemployed workers. Technology and wages, A. The demand for low-skill labor shifts to the left when technology can do the job previously done by these workers. B. New technologies can also increase the demand for high-skill labor in some fields such as information technology.